Hello everyone and welcome to another Timeless Pick a Card. Messages from your higher self. Important messages that your higher self, infinite intelligence, God, the universe, source energy wants you to know right now. You have three different piles in front of you. You can listen to more than one pile. You can listen to all three as a story. Always trust your intuition. The first pile has a chameleon spirit. And then this beautiful picture of this, like almost looks like surrendering and spiritual holy fire around a feminine energy. The second pile has the turtle as well as this uh, wise sage ancestor type spirit. The third pile has a stag and then it, a, a masculine and feminine. And what's interesting is in that particular little deck, they don't all have images of um, people or, you know, spirit. So I find that fascinating that they all have an image. It's almost like surrender to your higher self, to the ascended masters, to your ancestors. And there's this coming together of the masculine and feminine. If you need more time to pick your pile, you can hit the pause button, but I'm gonna get started here with the first pile. Hope you guys are doing well. These are messages. If you pick the first pile with the chameleon spirit, these are your messages. So this first one is kind of where your higher self wants you to be, to think about, to focus on here. Transcendence. Transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. Let go of the 3D constructs. You have limitless potential in your life. Your light and love is bright and powerful. Shine. Feel into your heart space. That's really important right now. And this beautiful chameleon spirit is encouraging you and giving you a mindful exercise right now. Report on your experience or surroundings. Write or narrate what is happening right now with your emotions, thoughts, physical sensations, and or behavior. In doing so, pretend that you are a reporter giving an objective account to your audience. Notice what it's like to observe and describe your experience in this somewhat detached manner. When you separate yourself from your thoughts and simply notice them with detachment, you remove some of the power they have over your emotions. And what did I feel from this? Feel into your heart, transcend your mind's limitations. Spirit is so good to us. So this is an idea for you to get yourself there. And now we're going to see the tarot that came out for you. We're just going to get it all out. We have the Ten of Swords. So some kind of finality here is what I'm feeling always, you know, with the Tens. <clears throat> the Four of Swords is the rest and healing. Going within, right? And the Three of Pentacles. See, there's a masculine and feminine. And it almost looks like it could be the chameleon spirit showing itself again, which is pretty incredible. So you may want to look up more on that for yourself. Lizards, chameleons, but the, but the three of pentacles. So masculine and feminine coming together, doing something, <clears throat> being recognized for your high quality of work. And then here's a seven of wands. So this is deciding to stand your ground, that you have what it takes, stand up for what you believe in. You're protected, even if you're in you know, some kind of battle, so to speak, or spiritual battle. And then here's the gorgeous Empress. Look at this beautiful opening up to an incredible new cycle. A portal is opening. A lot of creative and sensual energy moving through you. 
transcending your mind's limitations, right? <clears throat> so the messages from your higher self is it's time to let go of something. It's time to make a decision to stand your ground here and to allow yourself to have peace. For some of you, you're ending a connection with, with a toxic person. And it could literally be the father of your child or the mother of your children. Because there's like, looks like a mother and a children and like a father type thing. It could be that. Not, it doesn't have to be that, but it could be that for some of you, I'm feeling. But in totality, it's, it's time. And, and you know what that time is, okay? And it, it's just time. And they want me to rearrange these right now, so I'm going to listen because I feel like it makes sense. And, and it being after, to me, to me, your higher self is saying, listen, it's time to get what you deserve. It's time to open up to this new cycle, right? It's time to decide to let something go. It's been exhausting. This can also represent arguing with yourself, your mind, right? You and your ego having a battle. If it's not with a person, it's with your own self and it's time to let it go. And this card right here is beautiful because you're very powerful, just so you know. You're a warrior, you've learned the lessons, and it's time to like just end this battle within and without. And it looks like transcendence, right? It's like this purification, this letting go of the toxicity. And then it's exhausting, right? It's been exhausting. So then you rest and you go within and you heal and introspection, being in your own energy, because look, your truth, your clarity, your power is within you, not outside of you. Things are coming into a balance when you decide to rest. Clarity comes when you decide to rest. Feeling into your heart space helps balance out that fear-based negative mindset. And then the gift to you from the universe is this alignment, this purification of the masculine and feminine within you and a very divinely guided collaboration where you will be recognized. And I feel like the masculine is holding the feminine up high. Like, don't you see her? Don't you see, or him, don't you see this beautiful feminine is the star, is meant to be a star, holds you on a pedestal, recognizes you for your high quality of work and wants to work with you, wants to build with you, wants to grow with you. And this also represents knowing when to step back and observe and not say anything right be like a chameleon and sort of blend in and then there's times where you do need to stand out and stand up for yourself and it's important to trust yourself to know when that is you can trust yourself so there's this beautiful coming together and then this opening up it's like your higher self is the Empress, right? The divine feminine, higher self, the sacred feminine. Basically just in a, such a graceful, gorgeous way, showing you like, like here it is. Your higher self is like, here it is. Here's the new life, all the butterflies. This uh, crown, like a wreath, this is destiny. This is fate. This is what you're meant to do. This is the next part of your existence is meant to be peaceful, flowing, abundant, creative, passionate. And that's the gift that you get, that you've earned, that you deserve because of everything that you've been through. Nothing has been wasted here. All these lessons, all these karmic cycles, the challenges, the contrast, the battle within, the battle without. 
It made you who you are right now. You are exactly where you're supposed to be and it's time to let that go. You're being blessed. And this is healing if you haven't been feeling well because it's hard. this is challenging energy right here. And so it's spirit saying, yes, rest, rest. We're with you. We're helping you heal. And a confirmation to these messages is, look at this. So what's opening up? This is what I asked with this particular card. They're playing cards, okay? Is the Jack of Diamonds, which is the Knight of Pentacles. And this is a guardian angels with you every step of the way, helping you, protecting you, right? And this represents a solid, grounded offer, opportunity. The path, the portal that's opening will be extremely abundant and very stable. If this is someone coming in and offering you something, always trust yourself. But it's not this energy right over here, the toxic. It's very peaceful. And you will know. And this is what you've been waiting for for a long time. It takes a while for the Knight of Pentacles to get going, but there's a plan here. And Spirit's saying, listen, we're guiding you. We're your guiding light. Yeah, you're meant to shine. You're meant to be a star. You're meant to be successful. And, and this is what you're moving into in this new portal is a lot of stability. So follow your heart here. There are no limitations. You are a limitless being. Oh, God, I love this confirmation for you if you pick this pile. This is brand new beginnings in the material world. Root, portal, vitality, stability, and survival. Because there's been a lot of fear-based energy because that lives in your mind, right? And you've sort of, you've been in survival mode. Listen, I understand. I relate to that completely. And this is like, look at this. This is so cool. How, look at this, spiritual fire, burning away what's not serving you, purifying your mind, body, heart, and spirit right now, okay? That's what's happening in this transcendence. And then this portal that the Empress is presenting to you, your higher self is presenting to you, is new vitality, healing, good health, stability, and thriving energy. 33 is a mastership energy. So the ascended masters with you, helping you, guiding you every step of the way. And also you leveling up to a higher level of mastery here. And in, in mastering and manifesting in the material world. By taking your power back with this solar plexus energy, using the creative energy of the sacral chakra, the empress here, and then really grounding that all into your physical reality. This is what's opening for you. It's beautiful, beautiful energy, powerful energy. And look at that, a new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision on your new life, on this new cycle, on this new beginning, on this opportunity, on this stability, on this good health, on this passion, on this coming together, this purification here. Being recognized for your high quality of work. It's happening. A brand new beginning here on earth for you. Root portal, a new earth. Come on. That's an incredible confirmation here that it's time. Your higher self said it's time. It's time. And your star mother, the divine mother, the sacred feminine empress coming through again. How can you mother yourself? Because that's key right now. And that has everything to do with this beautiful four of swords energy, this meditation, this peaceful energy, being in your own energy, okay? How can you mother yourself during this transcendence, during this transformation, right? Report on your experience or surroundings. Feel into it. How can you nurture yourself? Because then you can help nurture others. And you've been through some challenges and it's time to love yourself, to nurture yourself, to heal, connect with Mother Earth. Allow the Divine Mother to hold you, right? She's her arms, like hugging you, holding you, loving you. You deserve this love. And to me, this is a lot of divine feminine healing is happening, mother healing right now. 
And to round it out, because your higher self also wants you to have some fun and it's okay to be sassy and it's okay to, you know, swear sometimes, dress the way you want to dress, be sexy, be sensual, all that good stuff, okay? So we have the rebel deck. And I love how Spirit's confirming this. Spirit is giving you a big hug. You need a big fucking hug. And I feel like that is coming is available to you all the time. I mean, wow. Squeeze. <laughs> and imagine that I'm giving you a big hug. Oh, and I give good hugs and they're tight. And I'm holding you. Spirit's holding you and blessing you right now. I hope that you enjoyed this. I'm going to move to the next pile. That was beautiful. Okay, now we're going to move to this, um, which I do feel kind of a continuation in a sense because the first pile got, this is the second pile. If you pick the turtle energy and this wise sage ancestry type energy on this card, the first pile sort of, you know, got the feeling of high level mastery, ascendant masters, guardian angels with you, right? Helping you transcendence was the word, right? So I feel like if you pick this pile, you've transcended, you're up into this higher level, you're very wise. And this is the message from your higher self of what your higher self wants you to focus on, channel. You are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world. Oh, hallelujah. We need more of us out there and you are a channel of the divine. The information you're getting when you connect with God, the universe, the creative energy of all that is your higher self is from the divine. And your love and your light in whatever way that you choose to express it. There's all different ways that we can be healers. It reaches the world. You're a very powerful channel of the divine. Things are being activated within you, leveling you up big time. Trust that. And this sweet, take your time turtle energy wants to give you a mindfulness exercise. Observe and describe. Use observe and describe to scan your body from top to bottom, not noting areas of tension and discomfort. Gently dismiss judgments that arise and take a deep breath into each area of the body where this discomfort exists. As you breathe in, picture it bringing in more oxygen and more energy to your body. As you exhale, visualize yourself feeling more deeply relaxed. In this way, the body scanning works to break the cycle of physical and psychological tension that can feed on itself. It can help you to return to and maintain a relaxed state. And when you're in a relaxed, peaceful state, the channeling energy, the information coming in from infinite intelligence, your higher self, the divine, is much easier to receive. We're going to get out the tarot and then we're going to talk about messages from your higher self. So you got the six of wands that denotes uh, recognition, celebrations, victory, success. Ace of cups. Look at that prosperous cup. And this is a continuation of the first pile of loving yourself, nurturing yourself, right? This ace of cups, filling your cup growing your psychic gifts, your intuitive gifts, your channeling gifts. And look at all this golden opportunity and prosperity and abundance is coming. Love of a lifetime, new spark, an offer in love. I mean, romance, victory. And it's the ship coming in right at the edge of something. Trust that it's right there. It's like you have it in your hand, you know. You can see the path forward and it's like getting ready to take that leap. And you've taken time to be independent, to be in your own energy with this cat energy, to purify yourself with the white dress, right? This is a purification card too. Loving yourself, taking care of yourself, connecting with the divine and trusting this, right? But this is some kind of divine alignment and divine timing happening, the ship coming in. 
And the seven of swords. Yeah, there's a strategy and a plan. It's moving away from the old toxic. And, and it's like the, the sword is right here. There is a plan, right? And it's like being protected by the divine, this plan. You may have experienced some deception in your life. And you're, you know, working, you know, trusting, following the light that this, that this is going to be worked out, that there's a plan here. And the moon, yeah, it, things are being revealed to you. Secrets are being revealed. When you observe and describe and go within and find the peace, you're going to get so much clarity on everything that's happened. So much clarity on how you possibly could have deceived yourself and how someone else could have deceived you. But it wasn't to hurt you. It, it was to show you where the false reality is, where the illusions are. Because when you really take a look, observe, right? Take off the mask, things are revealed. There's magic with the fairies. And this also is about psychic gifts, intuitive gifts really being highlighted here. Trust your intuition here on this. There is a way forward. I'm feeling some different messages from here for you personally, just for you from your higher self. You're being recognized. You're being given the, the crown, right? Victory and success. Brand new beginnings. The Ace of Cups is a gift from the universe. It's a very prosperous. This opportunity, a path, because see, this is the path laid out. It's a path you will absolutely love. It's finally coming all together and you're realizing, sitting here at the edge, channeling, connecting to the divine, you're realizing that this was everything that's happened was all part of the plan. And you're seeing so clearly now and your intuition is so strong. Your psychic gifts, your channeling abilities, your healing abilities are really being highlighted here and they're beautiful. And there's a plan for this. Everything you've been through was all part of the plan. There's victory and success over these shadows, over these fears. And I'm also feeling for a divine masculine and divine feminine. Masculine possibly could have been in more ego-centered energy because the six of wands with the seven of swords and there's a masculine here. It could be very ego-centered, very show-off energy. And that could have been someone that you're letting go of, right? Because you're realizing, oh, okay. But also at the same time, you're, you're seeing that, you know, everybody can get caught up from time to time in their ego and everybody wants to be seen, wants to be heard, wants to be victorious, wants to be recognized in some way, shape or form, right? And so you're realizing the truth about that and finding the balance. And it's all part of us learning our lesson. So if this is you, this is your inner masculine, or this is a masculine you're thinking of, they're finding victory over this, overcoming the deception. And I feel like as the feminine energy, you've really been reflecting, growing your gifts, observing, right? Just in this peaceful energy in your own, right? And you're realizing that, okay, there's a plan here. I see it. Whatever hasn't worked out was for a reason because there's something better. And I get that now. I feel like it's all coming together and there's going to be success with a feminine and masculine. I feel that. I felt that in the first pile and I feel like there's going to be a successful venture, a successful collaboration, a relationship, whatever it is that you've been manifesting because this is could be romance of a lifetime. Like I'm feeling better about myself. I feel like this masculine is saying and I want a new beginning here and feminines you've been kind of waiting for this and they're coming up with a plan and it's up to you to let go of the fear-based energy, the illusions, right? And get really clear with what you want and really focus on yourself right now and trust your intuition that this new start is coming. And for confirmation for all of this, the nine of hearts came out with the crystal ball, okay? So you're extremely gifted, okay? What you're seeing and perceiving based on the energy right now is the truth. And there is wish fulfillment coming because the nine of cups is, you know, the nine of cups, the nine of hearts, personal wishes coming true. Your own wishes and dreams coming true. Not everybody else's, your own wishes and dreams coming true. 
and you know what the truth is with this moon energy and the ace of cups and the channel i mean wow trust your intuition and this is dreams coming true that's what your higher self wants you to know your dreams are coming true you're, you're seeing them right. You're feeling them right. It may happen in a different way than you ever expected, but it's happening. So trust that and focus on that. The Ice Queen, 22, a master number. Introspection, self-analysis, fortitude. So right now it's time to go within. I really feel that. Like trust yourself. Be in your own energy. Don't worry about what's going on with anybody else because that's all going to be worked out because... If you're thinking about a masculine, they've got some, you know, they're learning the lessons and coming up with a plan and, you know, finding victory here. And it's you feminines. I feel like the feminine within you, you your sacred feminine, that's maybe been a little icy or it's time to be like a little bit in your own energy. It's not anything like rude or whatever. It's just being a little more quiet, being in your own energy. Maybe it's Things have been a little frozen, but there's magic happening with this like unicorn energy here. You are the unicorn, right? And you've got the this like angel, this guide that's with you, praying for you, helping you as you move through this. And it's a time to go within because that's where you're going to connect with this channeling energy. And it's interesting that it says self-analysis because this says go within and dismiss judgments and see what comes up take some deep breaths so that's really important for you to do right now because you're going to get a lot of clarity when you do that write it down trust the timing trust the wave you came in on time is not running out okay so for some of you i am feeling the energy like you're like no but i need to say something no i need to do something no i need to you know Right now, your higher self is saying, trust the timing on everything. It is being worked out. There is a plan here. And time isn't running out like you might think it is. It's okay if you take a little time out for yourself, right? Fill your cup. It's okay because it's all coming into alignment here. And look at that. And it's much like the Queen of Swords, this Ice Queen, Warrior Woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? Because you're very gifted. You're very wise. And there's a lot of clarity coming to you when you go within. And look at that. This is the plan. <laughs> there's a plan. Things are being revealed to you. Some kind of communication from spirit. Could be communication from the outside world. But it's have you answered your deepest calling? You're stronger than you realize in that that calling isn't going to go away. It's just going to keep growing. So your higher self is telling you it's time to get clear. It's time to come up with a plan to live in your purpose. You're an excellent communicator. You have excellent writing skills. It's, I mean, you're powerful. Your words are powerful to all. You are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world. Remember that. And then, of course, your higher self likes to get a little sassy and have a little fun, too, because it's really important that you have fun with this. It's really important that you enjoy this journey because it's beautiful. Okay? And spirit really wants you to enjoy it. Your higher self really wants you to have some fun and, and dreams coming true and working with the magic of the universe and saying, which is balance of the head and the heart, right? Filling your cup. Get the fuck out of your head. <laughs> Get in your heart. It misses you. Feel into it. Fill your cup. Have you answered your deepest calling? And the only way you're going to know what that is, is to get into your heart. It misses you. Beautiful messages. I hope you enjoy this. I'm really enjoying this um, pick a card reading here. Okay, we are going to move to the third pile. If you pick the third pile with the stag energy and this masculine and feminine coming together, which is, you know, kind of becoming a story here with the three piles if you're interested in listening. This is where your higher self wants you to focus right now. Reflection. See all aspects of yourself through the reflection of the one who mirrors your hidden self. It's 
powerful, you guys. And the, the last pile was all about that introspection, going within, taking a time out. Time's not running out. You have time to reflect. It's really important to reflect on the one who mirrors your hidden self. So if you're the feminine, you're reflecting on the masculine energy and how that mirror works for you and triggers you to help you heal. If you're the masculine listening to this, you're reflecting on the feminine. The things that maybe have been hidden away that you haven't looked at or felt into, it's time. Your higher self is encouraging you to do this and take the lead on this, right? With the stag energy. This is a mindfulness exercise from your higher self in the stag energy. Gratitude list. Make a gratitude list with everything you can think of on it both big and small. Alternatively, write a thank you letter to someone, being specific about what the person did to receive your gratitude. Stressful events can leave us feeling negative, but having a greater sense of appreciation for the people and things in your life can really help you gain perspective. Feel more positive and enable you to better handle your stress. Now, this doesn't have to be a romantic person that you're reflecting on. This can be a mother-father figure. This can be a child. This can be a friend. This can be someone who just is mirroring you right now and is a reflection of what you need to look at. You can write a letter, and if you aren't actually giving it to the person, you can write it and then burn it or soak it in water and know that their higher self received it. And when you live in a state of a gratitude and appreciation, the universe will give you more things to appreciate. Even appreciating the challenging times, even appreciating the people who really push you is important because you plan this and they're in your life for a reason or they were in your life for a reason just to make you stronger, just to remind you how powerful you actually are. Okay, now we're gonna get your tarot if you pick this pile three and we're just gonna see what it is. Woo, yes, Ace of Pentacles, baby. A new path, a gift from the universe, a new beginning. Something new. And it's the Knight of Cups, it's love. The portal love opening, the knight in the unicorn is chasing after that cup. some kind of opportunity path opening that you will love. And it's 10 of cups, I mean, wow. Look at that. Ma the masculine and feminine within you, reflection, the one who mirrors your hidden self coming together in peace. Feeling content in your home life, love surrounding you, prosperity all around you. So much love. And with this, you know, image here, I do feel like there is some kind of offer coming in. Higher level of commitment. I want to share my cup with you. I want to offer you this love. I want to get, I want to come together. And it brings you peace. Yeah, there's some kind of communication, idea, something new, a curiosity. It's in its new, fresh energy. It's some kind of communication. And this is just being at peace and being patient, right? It kind of goes on the storyline of just finding your power, the balance of the head and the heart, really getting clear with what you want and trusting it. And then we have judgment. Yeah, it's time. The decision has been made. We're giving you new life. Look at that horn blowing with the butterflies. There's new life here happiness with the little buttercups you know aren't these like buttercups where you hold it up have you ever done that when you were a kid you hold it up to your chin and, and see the glow or whatever and i feel like that's what's happening things that you dreamed of as a child are opening up here releasing harsh judgments of yourself and others and the universe recognizes you is blessing you Your higher self wants you to know that you're being recognized, that you deserve love, abundance, stability, good health, and is encouraging you to write that gratitude list 
and to be gracious for everything that you have, everything that's coming, everything that you know, all that you are. Every person that's been in your life has been in your life for a reason and there's a brand new path opening and it's like some kind of announcement, some kind of call, some kind of communication and in the center of it is the Ten of Cups. Peace in the home, stability in the home, a new home, this knight charging forward and offering their love. And I feel that you're just at peace. This is a very peaceful energy, very prosperous energy. The balance of the shadows and the light, right? The balance of the head and the heart and this beautiful coming together. And this portal with this golden opportunity, this golden cup is opening for you. And to confirm this energy, I almost feel like there's an announcement, like you're gonna make the announcement, like, yeah, we're getting married, or we're coming together, or, we're gonna move, we have this great idea and we're gonna move forward on it. I mean, it's some kind of announcement. And here it is, the Queen of Wands, yeah. His spirit and your higher self are encouraging you to take charge, to make the decision to rise up as the queen of wands would. And it looks like a sun, like it's just so much clarity, so much abundance, so much love. You are being recognized here. This is leadership energy. You're very attractive right now. You're attracting opportunity to you. You're attracting uh, you know, if you, if you're the feminine, you're attracting masculines to you. If you're the masculine, you're attracting feminines to you. And it's up to you, right? To decide. The universe is giving you that. You, but you get to decide who you want to be with and what, what path you want to follow. But it's beautiful. And, it, and your higher self is encouraging you to go after it, to take charge, to trust yourself, to be confident in yourself. You're meant to be some kind of leader. And then you have some galactic guidance. Your star family is assisting you, cooperating with you. And look at that, masculine and feminine. And that's been kind of the theme throughout this, the masculine and feminine coming together. So your star family, your guides, your people, your, they're helping this connection come together. Like we're here and, and with all this blue energy, they're communicating with you via dreams, signs, synchronicities. You know, here's some you know, ancient alien energy here. They're guiding you. Spirit is guiding you. Your higher self is guiding you. It's like what I'm feeling is the masculine and feminine version of your higher self because we all have masculine and feminine energy. So this is like your higher self, both aspects of your higher self coming forward. Helping to guide you through this and let's see what else comes up. Deep cellular healing, Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing. Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of started with the first pile of that need to go within and heal. Finances are being healed. Your health is being restored. Your relationship is being healed. And people from Arcturus are masters at physical healing, uh, a go really, really deep healing. And so that's who's with you. You may want to look, because they're galactic energy, Octurus energy. You may want to look that up because I feel like things are, whatever you're guided to is going to resonate with you. But I mean, they are with you strongly, helping you heal, helping you heal your own inner masculine and feminine. And it's like you're rising up into this whole new, beautiful version of yourself. I mean, it's gorgeous. Yes, just say yes. Just say yes to life. Just say yes to this healing. Allow yourself to receive. Just say yes to the abundance, to the opportunity, to the stability, to the higher level of commitment, to the new home, the new path, whatever this is for you. Just say yes. Say yes to what makes you happy. Just say yes. And I feel like, I do feel that sometime very soon that there may be an offer made like will you marry me will you do this with me and the universe is saying like always trust your heart but to say yes you're saying yes someone's saying yes 
and it could be going on a trip because your higher self wants to have a little fun with you. So I have the rebel deck as you know, each pile got one card and it says, take a fucking trip. Go see some shit, do some new things. Talk to people cooler than you. So I feel like you're really opening up to beautiful connections and friendships. If someone asks you to go on a trip or you feel inspired to go somewhere, to take a chance, to do it, do it. I mean, something amazing is going to happen on this trip and you're going to meet people that are awesome and that have opportunity, perhaps this masculine, right? And maybe perhaps this is you and your masculine going on a trip and you're taking charge. You're like, yep, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going to do some cool shit because that's what this life is about. And life is short, you guys. We don't know how long we're going to be here for. Live it up. Just say yes to life. I'm sending you all so much love.